Google just released Gemini 2.0. They come in different models. I actually have four new models here on my accounts. So I wanted to walk you briefly through what each one does, what it's good for, and then compare the free plan with the paid plan too. So you'll see exactly why you would want to use Gemini and which model you want to pick for different tasks. Okay, so you could access Gemini at gemini.google.com. It's completely free to use. And they have a paid upgrade that is $20 a month called Gemini Advance. So some of these you're not gonna see if you use the free account, but I'll explain exactly what each one is. The first one that everyone got access to, which is the new Gemini 2.0, is called Gemini 2.0 Flash. Now Gemini 2.0 Flash, that's your general use case, large language model and chatbot here. So for example, I'm gonna ask it to summarize a news article, 100 to 150 words. Then I could go ahead and take this release here. Gemini 2.0 is now available to everyone. And I could either copy and paste this entire page, which is what I'll do here, or add a link because this also has web browsing access under Gemini 2.0. And this is exactly what Google said too. Gemini 2.0 Flash is a model optimized for speed and efficiency, generally available across Google's AI products, including Gemini app and inside of the API for developers. Now I'll do the exact same thing, but this time I'll copy and paste the link just to show you. This kind of does the exact same thing. I won't edit this part just so you see the speed of it. It's extremely fast. Now from all the AIs that I've tested, this 2.0 Flash Gemini here is the fastest that I've ever tested. 1.5 Flash, the previous model, still available on this dropdown, was also extremely fast. So if you just really care about speed, this might be the chatbot to go to. Now the next one on the list is called 2.0 Flash Thinking Experimental. So this one is a reasoning model. So it's a little bit different than a general use case. If you come from the chat GPT world, you probably use their reasoning model. It's called O3 Mini right now. Then you have DeepSeek R1, which is a reasoning model. So you wouldn't use those for every type tasks. And you can see down here, it says it lacks real-time info. So this version of it that I just clicked on does not have web access. The one right underneath it does. So I'll show you that in a second. So you might want to use this if you don't need anything from the web and you just needed to use this reasoning engine. And I'll just show you some standard tests that are run with reasoning models that large language models typically have a hard time with. Here's one, which one's bigger, 9.11, 9.9. And by the way, the way it reasons, I really like this format. Look at this step-by-step. -step. And as long as it has this line, this is technically not the answer, but you could see its thinking process. Understand the question, analyze the numbers, compare the first decimal places, compare the decimal parts systematically, right? You could see it needs to go through all this reasoning here to give you an answer. And right here, let's go to the bottom of it. It's giving us a really long answer, but the final answer is 9.9. 9.9 is bigger than 9.1. So you got that one right. And this one, it doesn't look like it tells you how long it's thinking. If you've used O3 mini, it tells you how many seconds it took to come to this. DeepSeek R1 does the same thing, but pretty good. Now here's one that tricked ChatGPT's older reasoning model. So I'll test this out. A horse costs 50, chicken costs 20, goat costs 40. You bought four animals, total of 140, $140. How many of each did you buy? Now I like this question because it has two answers and I've tested different models that only gave me one of the logical answers, but I wanna know if this could give me both answers. All right, it's thinking, let's see. Okay, this is thinking quite a bit here. And let's get to the bottom. Wow, the answer is super long too. Okay, two answers, one chicken, three goats, two horses, two chickens, which is the correct answer too. Here's a little riddle here, name three things that are coming but never arrive. Tomorrow, tomorrow is always a day away. The future, the future by definition is what is yet to come next week. Okay, so it shows time pretty much for all of it, but yeah. Good answer. And I have a video coming up where I'm comparing all the reasoning models. So we got O3, we got this new one, the thinking model from Gemini, and we got DeepSeek R1. So that's gonna be coming up soon. So I'll go to the next one here, 2.0 Flash Thinking Experimental with Apps. So, so far, everything I'm showing you is in the free version too. So you'll have all these three. Now this one is super useful because not only can it do search and also combine the reasoning model, the thinking model, and have the speed of flash, but it also works with some other Google apps like YouTube. So I was trying to trick it here. I said, so I'm trying to drive from Chicago to Hawaii. What's the best route to take? 
Okay, it's going through some thinking. Right here, it says this is impossible as the very first step of his thinking. Let's see what the answer is. Driving from Chicago, Illinois to Hawaii is not possible as Hawaii is an island in the Pacific Ocean. And then it's telling us what airline to take to get there, okay? But the YouTube part is my favorite part of this thing. So a lot of people watch my Notebook LM video, another product that I love that's from Google. Find me all the tutorials from Skill Leap about Notebook LM. Okay, so it's going to do some search. Now they have different apps also. They're called extensions that kind of do the same thing, but this combines the reasoning with that too. So I could ask it more complicated questions. Oh, because I did not ask to find me YouTube tutorials, it looks like it just did a web search. It did a Google search instead, and it found our Notebook LM course that was just released. So it did not find the tutorials, the video tutorials on YouTube. 33 lessons, two and a half. Okay, so let me try this again. So I'm gonna ask, give me the YouTube tutorial. So I think you have to be a little bit more specific on this, on that question. Now, yeah, now it's doing the YouTube search, not the Google search. So I guess by default, it was trying to do the Google search. And let me see, it found, okay, Notebook LM, 12 epic use cases. Here's the link to it. Gemini Deep Research and Notebook LM I covered. Notebook LM got its biggest update. Okay, perfect. So I could ask it to recap video one here. It's using YouTube. It's looking in the transcription, it looks like, from that link. And let's see, yep, it's going through and giving us the bullet points. Okay, and it pulled in the video just like that. Now at this point, you could combine it with some reasoning questions and things like that. But I just wanted to kind of show you the difference because this other one here, doesn't have access to YouTube. It also doesn't have access to Google search. This one has access to YouTube maps and Google search. And hopefully they're gonna roll out other functionalities into this one too. Then you have 2.0 Pro. Now this model right here is only available to paid users that have Gemini Advanced, the $20 subscription. And you also have another model that we've had for a while, 1.5 Pro with deep research. This one, I also compared that in an upcoming video with the deep research OpenAI just rolled out. So ChatGPT has deep research. They literally call it the same thing. It kind of does the same thing, but it's only in the $200 plan right now inside of ChatGPT with Gemini is part of their $20 plan, but I'll save that for that other video. Now, why would you want 2.0 Pro? What's the difference between 2.0 Pro and Flash? Flash is available to everyone, it's free and it's fast. 2.0 Pro is the better model from Gemini. And if you've used any other products like ChatGPT always has a model that's fast and it's free, and then they have a better model that is usually the $20 paid upgrade. Same exact thing here. But here's one limitation to keep in mind. If you ask it a question, I asked it when Gemini 2.0 Pro came out, this one doesn't have a web access. There is no Google product called Gemini 2.0 Pro. If you ask 2.0 Flash that, it tells you when it came out, right? It came out February 5th. <laughs> this one just gives you some outdated dates about Gemini Pro. But this one allows for more complicated questions. Develop a model to predict product demand based on sales data. So you could ask it questions like this, and it will most likely give you a much better answer than the free version. That's why for people that are real heavy users of chatbots, they usually have that upgrade to just get a model that's gonna give you better results. Now I've always paid for the models. I feel like it's well worth it the $20 price tag to get the better model. But you know you have to pick and choose. Usually people are not gonna pay for Gemini, for ChatGPT, for Claude. They're gonna pick the one they like the best based on the outcome, based on some of the functionalities of the website and pay for that one. But one big limitation I noticed with this, right now I could only upload an image to analyze, so it is multimodal. So I could ask it about an image. Based on an image, this is an abstract image. Mountains in the background, color palettes are so-and-so. Okay, so it could see inside of images, but I can't upload files to Gemini Pro. Now with some of the other models too, I could only upload an image. So if I wanna analyze any documents, I have to go to Gemini 2.0 Flash here, press the plus sign, and then I could do images, I could do files. Even a code folder now is available and access to Drive, which is great because it's connected to your Google workspace. So again, all of these are owned by Google, so it's really easy to be able to bring those in. And if you upload any files to it, I could say, give me a one sentence recap of this. So anytime you need to analyze any document, 2.0 Flash right now is the way to go. If Pro rolls that out, that's probably gonna be a better way to analyze your document if you have the paid upgrade.
Now I did another test here, create a table comparing all the Gemini 2.0 models. Well, I just showed you a bunch of them here, but this did not find those. It found Gemini 2.0 Pro, which I just mentioned, and Ultra, which is not available yet. And you could also export these to Sheets. So Google Sheets, that's available too. So let me try this exact same prompt with the thinking model. And let's see what it gets. This one's the thinking that could actually search the web. Let's see if we get a better answer here. Yeah, we got a much better answer. Gemini 2.0 Flash, Gemini 2.0 Pro. There is something called Flash Lite, which is not something in my dropdown right now. Must be part of the API. Gemini Thinking, Gemini 1.1 Flash, Gemini 1.5 Pro. So this is a really nice way to be able to compare the different models very quickly. The one thing that Gemini 2.0 Pro, which I forgot to mention, is the context window is too million tokens and 2 million tokens, by the way, typically large language models that are available inside of chatbots, the context window, which is kind of your input and output of how much context this could handle is typically 128,000 or 256,000. This is 2 million. Okay. That's the one reason why you may want to get 2.0. If you are uploading maybe a, like a thousand page book that you want to analyze, this could actually handle that with Gemini 2.0. And Gemini Flash also has text to image capabilities. They actually roll out a brand new model called ImageN3. So if you type in any prompts for creating images with text, it will be able to do that. And it's much, much better than the previous version. So I wanted to make this quick video to show you all of that inside of Gemini that's available right now. And then I'll do a deep dive on all the different things where I want to test out different models, because at this point, between all the different models each of these apps and websites have, and then on top of that, all the different options you have, right? You have ChatGPT, Claude, DeepSeek, Gemini, Copilot. <laughs> it's kind of getting out of hand. So I want to do a deep dive video. I'll compare the thinking models. I'll compare the deep research model and just a basic chatbot. So a bunch of videos coming up on that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.